A food shortage in the UK is forcing some supermarkets to ration fruits and vegetables. And as CTV's Vanessa Lee tells us, British consumers are dealing with fallout from a combination of factors. We've been to a couple of different supermarkets today and there are a lot of empty shelves, a lot of signs that say temporarily out of stock. And so that is why more or less every grocery chain here has put limits in place. The one that we went to today called Aldi uh, puts a limit on the number of cucumbers and tomatoes and peppers that people can buy. So it's a limit of three per customer and the sign says it's so that there is enough to go around for everyone. Welcome back to Sea Time and Harvest. We're at Ms. Bobo's house helping her getting her garden started. Now we're going to set up the square footage of the garden so that we can get the plants in their right squares. I laid out the tape measure so that I can have uh, four feet and I'm going to put a tack at each foot and then we're going to section it out. We have nailed in every foot of the bed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the wire now and we're gonna go from one nail to the next to section out the squares. So I get the wire, I'm gonna wrap it around and then I hammer it in. Then come on the other side, to the next nail, and we're gonna do the same thing. Gonna do that and hammer it in. And these are pretty simple, you just twist it and it breaks. We're gonna go ahead and plant out the raised beds. On this side, we have tomatoes over here. We're gonna put some eggplants in these four squares, zucchini in two. Over here, we have radish, potatoes, some beans, peppers. We have cabbage that we're gonna put in two squares, more potatoes, parsley, onions, more potatoes, peppers gonna go in these squares, beans, beets, purple onions, spinach and beets. Then we have an acorn squash, lettuce, scallion, I'm sorry, thyme and okra with a watermelon. It's gonna go on this side. These are mung beans. I'm going to get these planted first. Right. So are those going to need trellis at all? No, mung beans are bush bean, so we don't have to trellis them. All right, next we're going to move to the beets. I like growing beets, it's so easy. Yeah, it's easy to grow. Beets, yep. Just have to feed it occasionally and it does pretty well. And you can bunch them together, they'll go right on top of each other. Only you you give only water? You will you have to feed them ever so often, but I'll show you the type of fertilizer that we use. Okay. That you can get. Alright, now we have eggplant. So here you have tomatoes. Tomatoes will need a trellis. Yes. So what what can she do to trellis it? We can get a stick and trellis it on a stick or get two tomato cage. 
And you said that was? Eggplant. A black beauty eggplant. Two. When you plant onions, you can either plant them one of three ways or all three ways. These are onion sets that you can purchase. Um, the only problem with onion sets is you have to really ask to make sure that they're a year old. Anything older than a year, they're just going to bulb. And the good thing is you'll get seeds. Now you can store those onion seeds to plant them the next season, or you can purchase seeds and plant them directly in your garden. Onion sets will produce a bulb a lot faster than the seeds. And the third way you can plant the onion is to plant already onion that are growing in your kitchen. However, you will not get a new onion, you'll get additional seeds. And we all know that seed is better than gold for the gardener. Because if you have seeds, you can always have crops. Always have stuff growing. When I plant my onion sets, I like to take off the outer skin before planting because the plant doesn't have to struggle too much. And that's what you see me doing. I'm separating the outer skin of the onion. You don't plant them too deep. A couple inches apart, give it room to bulb. Next we have spinach. Four spinach in the square. These are the Bloomdale spinach, the one that you'll find in most mixed greens. We're gonna put a German thyme right here in this back square. The thyme will spread, so you just have to prune it. And then these are lettuce, leaf lettuce. What's that casing that it was in? Um, that's the peat pellet pod, peat pellet pod. Um, the pod that I used to sow the seeds, I just like to remove it before I transplant. So how much room does it look like? These are leaf lettuce, so she'll harvest as the plants grow. It won't be a bulb per se. It will bulb, but it will take a longer time to bulb. So I'm just putting it a few inches apart. For this variety, it's six per square. But we have a little more, so we're just gonna try to make them fit. And the good thing about planting today is it's not so hot. It's really cool outside. So the, yeah, the plants won't be too stressed. Yeah, because when you move them out of the pot, it cannot be too hot. Potatoes, really you probably should only plant one potato per square, but we're gonna put two or three and see how it works. When the potatoes start to grow, you have to put more dirt over it okay. yep. and put it in mound, like mound it up into a hill. What I want? Like a hill of dirt. Oh, okay. Cause you don't want the, the sun to hit it. Hit the potatoes. The roots because it'll make the potato green and then you can't eat it. So you have to make sure you put dirt all over it. So the garden is done. Over here we have okra and the squash. We have thyme, mm -hmm. German thyme. We have a watermelon. These are lettuce. All these are lettuce and parsley. We have a zucchini. We have spinach right here. Okay. Those are beets. Okay. Two rows of beets. Those are mung beans. Mm -hmm. Here we have red onions and mm -hmm. the yellow onions. These three squares right here have potatoes. potatoes. Yes. yes. yes Parsley. We have bell peppers over there mm -hmm. and the jalapeno over there. In the middle right here we have cabbage. Mm -hmm. And then we have the sage, tomatoes. We have eggplants here with radish mm -hmm. and um, the, the straight neck squash. We have sorted out Mrs. Bobo's garden. We gave her a really high raised bed so she doesn't have to bend too much. It's all planted out. We're gonna get some trees in at another time. But until then, 
Thank you for joining us on Seed Time and Harvest. See you next time. Bye.